Hi guys. Remember grandma just read you this story by Eric Carl, A House for Hermit Crab? And I told you I'd make you a crab that you can do if you'd like. So I did. Here's what I ended up with. Just to show you what mine looks like. Yeah. So the supplies you're gonna need to make the hermit crab craft are a paper plate, and then I just turn it over and use the back. It could be a big one or a little one, it doesn't matter. I use these great coloring sticks. You could use crayons or you can use markers. I also am gonna work the color sticks with watercolor paints, which most of you have watercolor paints, which means you're gonna need brush and water as well. So first of all, oh yeah, we're gonna need later some kind of construction paper or any kind of paper you can use and you could color it or paint it if you don't have the right color, but I was using orange for the crap. All right, first we've got a paper plate. I turned it upside down and that's gonna be the circular part of the shell for the crab. And I wanted to make it beautiful so it wasn't so plain. So you can take any of the color sticks or marker or crayons if you press hard enough. I like these. And I'm gonna start in the middle and make a spiral, which means around and around line because these guys have a shell that's spirally and that's really fun to do and you can use any color and you don't even have to do it like grandma but i think if you start with the spiral that's going to give you the look of the hermit crab shell and then just continue to add whatever you want to decorate them up in any way that you want. You may want to put some dots on him and follow the spiral around. You may just want to add lines and follow the spiral around. Ooh, he's going to be pretty and bright. And you can just keep going. You can use any colors you want. I think I'll add one more color. I'm going to use some black, and I don't want to overuse the black, but he's kind of a nice contrast. And I might just go around. Spirals are fun to draw. And the idea is, like the story, to make his shell more beautiful. After you finish with your crayons or your color sticks or markers, make sure you have water in a brush and you're going to add watercolors on top of this. Any colors that you want. Um, I think I'm gonna try some yellows. Make sure that you try to keep your paints clean so that they don't turn all brown and yucky. And you can paint right over your color stick or crayon and it should show through. Some purples. You can make your hermit crab any color you want. So continue painting your paper plate. Make him beautiful. And do anything you want to make him pretty and add texture. And then you're gonna sit that aside. I probably would work on this longer, but I just wanna show you the rest of it. When you finish the painting, he's gonna need to dry maybe about 20 minutes or so before you can work with them. So next, we're gonna make the little crabby guy inside. And you can do that any way you want. This was grandma's before. I made him out of construction paper and really easy shapes. So here's my construction paper. 
I'm going to do like Lennon likes to draw with a black marker. But you can just use pencil or crayon if you want to. And we're going to make him pretty easy and kind of uh, a little bit big so he's easy to cut out. So I'm going to make a circle for his head. And I'm going to make kind of just a rectangle box. For his body. I'm going to make two skinny rectangles here, but I have to cut them out later, so I don't want them too skinny. Where his eyes are going to go, we're going to make circles there. And I actually have little eyeballs I can stick on there with glue, which I'll do in a minute. If you don't have those at home, just draw some eyes. I'll just draw them right now, and I'll color those in. Now, he has more body to him, but I didn't really want to draw that because I'm going to stick him behind the shell. We need to do his pincher arms. Now, I was just thinking use shapes, and kind of like almost a transformer body would be made, or a robot. So I'm going to put rectangles here for part of his arms. And then I might do sort of more of a triangle. You could use rectangles there too. And then for the pincher part, it's kind of like your hand with a thumb, all your fingers together with the thumb like a mitten almost. So there's his thumb, and there is his hand. Let's do one over here. Here's his thumb, and there is his hand. See? That's pretty easy. So circle, square or rectangle, 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 circle, circle. And then his arms are in little sections all hooked together with shapes. And then we're going to cut that out. You want to make more arms. Like here, see how many he has. He's got more legs and stuff. You can do that too, but Grandma's just keeping it as simple as she can. You're going to cut him out. Like I said, you can add real eyeballs on those eyes if you want. Just go around what you drew and cut him out in one piece. It's okay if you don't even stay right on the lines. Oh, Hermit Crab is going to have a beautiful shell to live in pretty soon. We saw lots of hermit crabs on our seahorse adventure, didn't we? Some were big and some were medium and some were really, really tiny. So you can make your hermit crab any way you want. You don't have to do like grandma. Notice how I'm keeping my scissors with my thumb on top and my fingers in the bottom. And then I kind of turn the paper to help me cut in the different directions. I don't really turn my scissors much. I use my other hand and turn my paper. That's a little tricky. You may want mom and dad to help you with that a little bit if you're not real good at cutting yet. There, I have him. Now this is a little bit wet, so I need to be careful. Like I said before, it take, I would let that dry quite a while, but when it gets dry, you're just going to glue, put some glue right here on that end of his body that we drew. My glue never comes out very good. Kind of just a line of glue like that. And then you can stick it anywhere you want underneath here. So the plate's going to be on top of them, and then you're going to press that. 
Maybe set the glue bottle on it and let it dry for a little bit. And like I said, if you wanted to add these kind of eyes, I don't know if you have these at home or not, but you can put a little tiny glue here where his eye goes. Ooh, that was a blobber, Grandma. And just touch it there and that'll have to dry as well. See, I'm not gonna lift him up because everything is still trying to stick. So there he is. You made a beautiful house for hermit crab. And like I said, if you want to add more of his legs here than I did, you can when you draw your picture. I thought too, I took uh, yellow paper and drew like a starfish on this and cut it out. And I could, when this is dry, I could add glue and stick some of those little animal friends that he had. I can draw pictures of them and cut them out and stick them right there on. Or I could stick them with glue to a popsicle stick, almost like a little puppet. And I could stick his friends on anywhere I want on his shelf. So there you have it. Here's a dry one. I hope you like grandma's craft.